week nine of the fantasy basketball season and he has a few guards I would drop this week and they're not producing. The first guy's Alec Burks of the New York Knicks. He's ranked 127th this season in fantasy basketball. 11.2 points a game, 4.7 rebounds, 2.2 assists, two threes a game, 81% from the foul line, 39% from the field. But the last few weeks, Burks, he's really struggled now. Ranked 191 in that time with only 7 points a game, 5 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.73s and 35% from the field. So Alec Burks, he's really struggled. And the trade for Derrick Rose as well hasn't helped his cause to play good minutes and be a fantasy factor for this New York Knicks team and fantasy owners. And he's been dropped over the last two or three weeks now by 26% is Burks. In the last three games, it just goes to show that he's pretty much not producing. February 12th at Washington, he played... 26 minutes, no points, 8 rebounds, and assist. Then February 13th versus the Houston Rockets, 24 minutes of play, 3 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, and a 3, 14% from the field. And then February 15th, last night, in a great victory over the Atlanta Hawks, he only played 19 minutes, 4 points, 4 rebounds, and assist, and a steal. So Burks, he's only playing 20, 25 minutes a game. Like I said, Emmanuel Quickly and Derrick Rose, they're the two main players off the bench here for the New York Knicks. And the Knicks are 3-0, or 3-1 that is, since Derrick Rose has come into town and they've won three in a row. And I could see another trade on the horizon with the Knicks. They got Kevin Knox on the block. They got a bunch of first-round picks, and it wouldn't surprise me to see Burks thrown in to a deal as well. Because I know the Knicks, they're targeting players like Bradley Beal. And Victor Oladipo. So we'll see if they land one of these guys upcoming at the trade deadline. So I would drop Burks. The playing time's going down. The production's down. And this guy's in front of him now in this Nick lineup. The next card I look to drop this week's Jeremy Lamb of the Indiana Pacers. So Lamb, he came off the torn ACL a few weeks ago. And he's had some pretty decent numbers on the season. He's ranked 160th. In fantasy basketball with 12 points a game, 4 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 2 threes a game, 94% from the foul line, and 51% from the field. But the last few weeks, his numbers have dropped his Burke. I, the last few weeks, Lamb's numbers have dropped 9.8 points a game, 3.8 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.8 threes a game, 56% from the field, which is good to see. But he's just been pretty inconsistent, is Lamb. Over the last few games now, February 10th at Brooklyn, 3 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists. Then at Detroit, February 11th, he had a good ball game, 17 points, 5 boards, an assist, 2 steals, and 3 threes. Then February 13th at Atlanta, 7 points, 4 rebounds. And February 15th versus the Chicago Bulls, 12 points, 5 boards, 2 assists, a steal, and 2 threes. So Lamb, he's more of a volume shooter. He's more a hot and cold type of player as well. And as far as fantasy basketball goes, he's going to score some points and hit some threes. And he'll get a few rebounds a game. But besides that, he don't do much. His percentages, they've been up and down so far since the recovery. And now with Karis LeVert putting up shots in practice and stuff, he, I think his return could be around the corner in two or three weeks. So Lamb, he's been inconsistent the last few games. And the week or two. And right now, I think he's a player that's droppable. And right now, owners, they are dropping Lamb right now. His percentage has gone down already 8% in the last couple of days. So he's still owned in 43% of leagues. But it wouldn't surprise me if his percentage drops even more. And the third and final guard I would drop this week is Cole Anthony of the Orlando Magic. The young rookie here. It's been a struggle for him so far this season. For the most part, he's ranked 253 on the year, 11 points, 4.5 rebounds, 3.8 assists, 1.13 is 83% from the foul line, and 37% from the field. So his percentages at the field goal are bad. He don't hit three pointers, and his scoring the basketball wasn't all that great as well. And he got the keys to the starting point guard position after Markel Fultz went down. And now, on top of it, Anthony, he's missed the last four ball games with a shoulder injury so we'll see if he comes back versus the Knicks tomorrow night
in Orlando and we'll see but his percentages dropped five percent and he's another guy that's been inconsistent for the most part of the year up and down but that's a rookie and that's what rookies are going to do but Cole Anthony right now in 10 and 12 team leagues I think you could cut him loose and if he does come back and produces again then you could go out there and pick him up but right now he's been dropped in 5% of fantasy leagues the last week and his own inch is only at 32% so I think he's a droppable guard here so that's a few guards I would drop here in week 9 of the fantasy basketball season.